Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Indian Gamer, and welcome to Hearthstone. Today we are going to be opening up 40 booster packs, getting ready for the Curse of Naxxramas expansion that is coming out on the 22nd, which is, looking over at my calendar, that is this coming Tuesday, which I will definitely be hopping into that, and I know I said, like, I did, I'm not going to do any more Let's Plays or anything, but Hearthstone is still a competitive game, and it's a game I really enjoy, so this is the exception that proves the rule. I will still be doing plenty of Hearthstone on this channel because I really, really do enjoy it quite a bit. It's a fun little game. It's not as good as like Magic the Gathering is, but it's still a great little game to play and I really do enjoy it. And I haven't really bought many booster packs in this game. I usually only buy like the one for every hundred gold that you get. So I decided, you know, what? I'm going to sit down and going to buy a bunch of booster packs, really fill out my collection, and then use the dust left over to purchase other cards that I wanted that I didn't get. And I want to say something <laughs> right here. This is kind of funny. Um, yesterday, I decided I would buy, like, seven booster packs, so I paid the $10 and got the seven booster packs, and before I could purchase it, it asked for my password to confirm the purchase, like, okay, I'll give you my password, of course, confirm the purchase, got the cards, or got the booster packs. Today, just now, I went, I purchased it, I put in the money, it's like, hey, $50, it didn't ask for my password. It's like, we'll just take your word for it this time. It's 40. You're giving us like 50 bucks. We'll just take your money. It doesn't matter if it's you or not. It's 50 bucks. So apparently when you buy or when you spend more money on this game, it doesn't need to worry about your password. Just, just putting that out there. But with all that said and done, no more further ado. Let's get to opening and hope we get some really good cards. Pack number one. What do we get out of this? There's a rare, I always hover over them first. Ooh, there's an epic, or yeah, an epic right off the bat. So open up the commons. Eh, those aren't bad. Shadow Step, I like Shadow Step. The rare, Arcane Golem, that is not a bad aggro card. Let's see what we got for the epic mind games. Put a copy of a random minion from your opponent's deck onto the battlefield. Ooh, I'm gonna have to use that. All right, pack number two. We're off to a great start already. Already have an epic, oh, there's a legendary. And a rare. Well, of course there's a rare. There's always a rare. But there's a legendary. Hey, I like that card. Temple Enforcer. Light Warden. That is not a bad card. And our legendary is... Blood Mage Thalnos. Not a bad card either. That is actually a really good card to have. That's a really good card to have. All right. What else do we got here? There's a rare... Okay, we just got a rare in this one. Sometimes these can be gold commons, though. Hey, a Stormforge Axe. I don't have two of those. What do we have here? Questing Adventure whenever you play a card. Eh, that's not a bad card. That is not, not a bad card for, like, a weenie deck. You can just get massive card draw out of, like, three creatures the next turn. And we just have one rare this time around. And we get... Savagery. That, I actually haven't found much use for that for a druid, but, you know, you have the card that gives you, like, plus three attack or whatever, or, you know, gives you, like, plus two attack, and then you use your regular one, then you use that, and you deal, like, three damage to a minion. Just the one rare this time, which I opened up first on accident this time. Hey, five damage for three. That is, like, a super, <laughs> a super fireball, but it does have overload, which I'm still not sure how I feel about the overload mechanic, but shamans seem to be so weak right now that I'm not really going to complain. Maybe when the shamans become too powerful, I'll start complaining about it. And our rare for this pack, the Light Warden, once again, is still not going to complain. That is not a bad card to have, and now I believe I do have two of them because I don't think I had those before. Oh, we got an epic and a rare. We have an epic and a rare in this one, so... Ooh, a Fen Creeper. Our rare is Misdirection. When a character attacks your hero... Oh, yeah, he attacks another random minion. Yeah, that's not a bad card. And our epic is Twisting Nether. Now I have two of those. Destroy all minions for eight mana. If you're a warlock at the and you're just on the ropes and the enemy has no cards, that can be such a lifesaver, but it's such a... such has such a... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It can only be played in certain situations to really be effective. That It's not really that great of a card, but it's still a pretty cool card. Hey, a golden summoning portal. Not bad at all. Not bad. And our rare is Headcrack. Hey, that's a really good rogue card. I really do like Headcrack quite a bit. Because you can just continuously cast it over and over if you play it right. And that's just two damage consistently. We have a rare. And the rare is Kirin Tor Mage. The next secret you play this turn causes your... Oh, that is not bad. If you're a secret heavy mage, that's not bad. See, I don't know as many cards in this game as I should. I really, really, really should just go through and start learning about all the cards. 
and just figuring out how they all work. Hey, a Golden Iron Beak Owl. I really like that card. That is a really fun card to use. Can really screw people up. Hey, I needed a second one of those. So I got a second Frothing Berserker. I really needed those because I've been trying to build a really good warrior deck. And Frothing Berserker is just a really good... Ooh, there's an epic. Really good card to have as a warrior. Hey, Deadly Shot. I needed one of those. Crazed Alchemist. Gold rare Crazed Alchemist. Swap the attack and the health of a minion. I did not have one of those. And the first one I get is a rare. That is awesome. Like, um... With a uh, hunter throwing out the tortoise, the turtle, that's a 2-7. You can just make it a 7-2 and just deal 7 damage. And the epic we get is Farsight. Draw a card and it costs 3 less. What? So you could potentially draw a... The uh, Shaman Fireball Lava Burst that we drew earlier and cast it immediately after casting that. That is really powerful. Let's see. Epic. Or not epic. Rare. Just throw, hey, Repentance. Oh, two of them. Sweet. And Ravenholt Assassin, not a bad card. A 7-5 stealth. Because at that point in the time, I mean, really, Flame Strikes is your biggest thing to worry about, but it won't kill it that late in the game. Hey, two rares in this pack. We got another Questing Adventurer, which is not bad to have, and an Angry Chicken. I still don't know how to use this thing. I really don't know how to use this. A 1-1 one, one with Enrage. I need to figure that out. Oh, you get a minion that gives all beasts like plus 1, or, you know, give it like plus 2-2 two, two taunt. And, uh, yeah, the Hunter card, and then you, yeah, then you use it. <laughs> There's different things you can do. I guess now that I actually think about it, and I'm not an idiot about it. There's a Felguard. Oh, essentially... A Senjin Shield Master that costs one less, but you destroy one of your mana crystals. I think I would be better off with the Shield Master at that point. Although, if you're going for a really, really quick deck, may not be a bad thing to have. And our rare for the... Hey, an Ice Lance. And a rare for this is an Emperor Cobra, which is not a bad card to have at times. It's usually a major target, but it kind of works like a taunt where if the enemy has a big card out, they're like, I need to get rid of this thing immediately, and they use all of their resources getting rid of it, and it usually buys you a little bit of time, and if they can't do that, you can kill their big thing and a light spawn. I'm actually more excited about the light spawn than I am the Emperor Cobra, because that card can be so powerful in the right situations, except against a hunter. A hunter's mark just cripples that card so hard. Whenever I play a priest as my hunter, I save a hunter's mark just for that thing. I let him buff it up, and then I hunter's mark it, because so many priests just buff things up immediately. Deals four damage to himself. That's not a bad card to have. And that's something like, if you throw a minion out, don't buff, unless it really benefits you right then, don't buff it up until it can attack, because otherwise you're just going to waste the cards that buff it when it gets killed. Hey, an epic. Awesome. And we got the rare right there. Another Emperor Cobra. I now have two of those. And Sword of Justice. That is a really good card for Paladins. That is a really good card for Paladins. Now let's see what we got here. Just the one rare. And no golden comments. Oh, how sad. Uh, another Angry Chicken. All right, I now have two Angry Chickens. I now have two Angry Chickens. I'm going to make an Angry Chicken deck. There's another epic. Open up the comments. Hey, a rampage in Soul of the Forest. I now have two of those. That's really good that I got that. Violet Teacher is a really surprisingly good card. And a Mountain Giant. And if you're in a card draw deck, that is a good card, but I don't know. That is not a good late game card. Because late game, you may not have the cards in your hand to make it work. Hey, another epic. And our rare is another Kirin Tor Mage, and our epic Ancients of War for Druid. Choose one, five attacker, five health and taunts. Oh, I love that card. I love that card. I am so happy that I just got that. I want that so bad. I love how Druids get that option with their cards. Like, do this or do this. That kind of shape-shifting theme they have going for them is so awesome. Hey, Conceal. That is actually a card I really like with Rogue. All right, Shadow Flame. Destroy a minion and deal its attack damage to all enemy minions. So if somebody throws out a big creature, you can destroy his big creature and kill all his other creatures. That is actually a really neat card. I've never seen that card used. I have never played against somebody that's used that card on me. There's a rare there. 
And it is another eagle horn bow. Well, not another one. I had one in the other ones I unlocked earlier, but now I got a second one, and that is a really good hunter weapon. That is a, well, I think it's the only hunter weapon, technically, but it's still really good. <laughs> it's still a really good thing to have. Hey, and two rares in this one. And the first rare that we open is a Master of Disguise. Give a friendly minion stealth. Ooh. Man. And the second one is an Akunai Soul Priest. Your cards that... <laughs> your cards and powers that restore health now deal damage instead. Ooh. So it basically turns priests into a mix of Steady Shot and, the, and Fire Blast. Just deal two damage to any minion at a whim or your enemy. That is actually really scary. Hey, a silence. Pint-sized summoner. Not the best card for me for what I do, but you know, it's not a bad card. I'm glad I'll have it in the future when I need it. There's a rare. And two rares in this one. First one that we open up is a Defender of Argus. A really good card. And Doom Guard. Discard two random cards. Ooh, well, if you only have one card at turn five or you throw it, you know, it's a five, man. That's not bad. That is not bad, like, mid-game, assuming you don't lose two valuable cards. I just, I don't like discarding cards. I like having cards. It seems that everything that kills me, it seems every time I lose a match, it's because the other person has, like, five cards to draw from, and I have none. Hey, and a Gadget Zan Auctioneer. Not a bad mage card. Ooh, an epic this time around. Perfect. The rare that we get is another Defender of Argus, and our epic is a Pit Lord. Deal 5 damage to your hero, but it's a 5-6 for 4. That is the epitome of Warlocks right there. Really risk-reward, and I love that mechanic about them. I love that, because when you get beat by a Warlock that utilizes that so well, it's like, wow, you really, your risk just paid off so well. And Soul Siphon, that is a great Warlock removal card. I'm getting lots of Warlock cards. I might want to build a Warlock now. Okay, now we're down to... We got one rare in this one. And it is a Master Swordsmith. Give another random enemy plus one attack at the end of your turn. Not a bad card. I see lots of people use that effectively. And I've seen it a lot lately. And one rare in this one. Hey, a Mad Bomber. And Secret Keeper. Whenever a secret is played, gain plus one, plus one. When it's played, not when it's revealed. So, okay... That's not bad. That's not bad at all. So you play it and you play a secret the same turn, and then it gets plus one, plus one. And in this pack, we have one rare. No golden commons. I'm really sad I haven't got any golden cards lately. And equality. Change the health of all minions to one. That card has pissed me off so many times. It's not even funny. All right. Let's open up this pack and see what we get out of it. Hey, there's an epic and a rare and another rare. Wow, two rares, an epic and a golden common, a golden fairy dragon. I needed one of those. I think I actually need two. <laughs> so there's a rare. Starfall, that is a great druid card. That is a great druid card. Crazed Alchemist, hey, another one of those. There we go. And our epic is the Ancients of Lore. Yes. I really love that card. Druids get so many awesome cards. I need to make a druid. I just need to go through and make one deck of each class now and just do that. Just do that as a thing and then play play a little bit with each one of them. Man. And our rare is double a minion. Wow. <laughs> that is a game-winning card right there. Whoo. All right. This pack, one rare. Hey, a Spellbreaker, Repentance, Light Spawn. Ooh, Thought Steal. Copy two cards from your opponent's deck and put them in your hand. That is a nice little card. I love stuff like that. Explosive Shot. Ooh. Hunters lack so much removal, I might have to throw it into my Hunter deck. Now, maybe craft another one. Hunter, Explosive Shot's just such... Because it deals five damage. Like, that's a great way to get rid of Ascension Shield Master. You get rid of the Shield Master and anything that was hiding behind it. There's a Legendary and an Epic. Wait, I don't have a Rare? I just have the epic and legendary. What? Okay. Epic. I, I'm not going to complain to us. Doomhammer. All right. Winfury and Overload and our legendary. The Black Knight. Destroy an enemy minion with taunt. Ooh, that is an awesome, awesome card. That is a great card to throw on my warrior deck. All right. Here we have but one rare. And we'll open it. 
and a golden stampeding Kodo. Beautiful. Oh, I love the swirling right there. Oh, that is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. All right, what do we got here? There's one rare, just the rare. All right. Hey, a flame imp. And a mortal strike, another warrior card that I needed. Okay. All right, I, I can dig that. I can dig that. Get them warrior cards. Got one rare right here. Ooh, an explosive trap. And it is a wild pyromancer. I do not know how I feel about that card. I mean, it's great in the beginning when the if an enemy's throwing out like lots of like it's great against weenie and murloc decks because you can just continuously get rid of them. There is an epic, but two epics and a rare. What? But uh, it's not really my favorite card. Hey, a slam! I needed one of those. And a golden rare, a golden mana wraith. All minions cost one more. Ooh, ooh! Look at that art. Oh, look at the swirling effect around the hand. Oh, that is beautiful. Epic one. Beastial Wrath. They give a beast plus two attack and immune this turn. Another great hunter card. One mana for that. Epic. And a golden epic. A sea giant. Costs one less for each other minion on the battlefield. So if like you... Ooh, I could throw that with like an Unleash the Hounds. Throw out all the hounds and oh, wow. That could be such a good card because every other minion. So like say the other person has four minions out. I unleash the hounds. That's eight minions. That makes us a two cost card. And then I use the hounds to wipe out all the other minions. Then this is all that's left on the board. Ooh, you, you, you can just see the wheels in my head turning. I'm going to have to use that now. And here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Our last pack. And we have a rare, an epic... And our first, our rare here is an Aldor Peacekeeper. Change an enemy minion's attack to one. That is a good little card. And our epic is another Faceless Manipulator. Perfect. That allows me to have two of them in the deck that I want. That is just beautiful. My collection is now so, so, so full. And I am going to be able to get so, like, look, 5, 12, 6, 10, 9, 7, 8, 14, 5, 51 new cards for my commons. Like, look at all that. Look at all that. I don't think there's many more that I really need to craft at this point. We'll start here. I mean, I, I can go through and I can start crafting a lot of these cards now. The legendaries, no, because they cost so much to craft. But there's a lot here that I can get. And I am so, 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 so excited. I mean, there is not a lot here that I need to get anymore. So, there you have it. There is 40 open. Maybe my next paycheck, I will do it one more time and get right... Well, yeah, that'll be at the end of next week when I'll be able to afford to do it. But until then, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.